So, okay, here's an attempt to show how you can create um, a board a game board using paper eyes and split the game board over several pages. So this is big map project. I'm going to call this start designing. I'm at beta.editor.paperize.io, as you can see here. This is um, a tool built on top of uh, Google, uh, Google Drive, Google Spreadsheets. It's not really true, but it's uh, true enough. Uh, so I'm going to create a new component here called board, like this. And I'm going to change the size of this one. I'm going to make it custom, say, oops, and the width inches. I'm not good with inches, so say 30 times 40 inches. This is probably not right, but I'm going to do it anyway. Done. And I think all uh, all components uh, read from some kind of uh, sheet here. So I'm going to open the sheet uh, created for this big map project. And we have a tab here called board. And I'm going to call uh, just uh, do something here. Title uh, image just to make this have one component here, uh, the map. And this will be fetched. No, I'm going to delete this because we're going to hard code this map anyway. OK, so this will be uh, to tell papers that I only have one uh, item, one copy of this, um, uh, this component. Uh, you usually create cards or something, and then you could have like a lot of info here, one one row for each card. But we're going, just going to make one board here. Now I'm going to open the template. And I'm going to add an image layer. And it's going to be called, it can be called anything, image selection. And I'm going to upload an image. I have to upload from Paperize to make uh, the images read, readable by Paperize. There, sounds fine. Choose files. And I just downloaded from the interwebs a really big map. It might not be that big, but it's big enough, I hope. OK, really big map. Start uploading. Good, OK. And I'm going to create, uh, select a static image, pick image, and I'm going to select the one I just uploaded from the Big Mac project images. Oh, no, here it is, Big Map. All right, so let's preview here. It's not really very visible, is it? Let's try this anyway. That's weird. OK, let's actually, well, let's try printing the game first. Um, here we are. Well, this will take a little while because I'm not connected. Oh, the VPN, well, it works. Nice. Well, that's not very visible, is it? So something went wrong here. Static, come on, big map. No, that was a, oh, sorry. I'm going to go into images and pick the really big map. OK, so that's better. OK, that makes sense. Good. Exit here. And if I print the game again, I will get PDFs here, big map. Call me on here. And now this, this is split over. Let's have. Yeah, OK. So the resolution here can be discussed. But this has been split over multiple pages, as you can see. So when you print them, uh, they, will, uh, they can be uh, glued together in some way and have a really big game board if you want to. Now. 30 times 40 inches is probably really the wrong uh, size for this, but you get the idea. Um, OK, so what we do, uh, we 
went to beta paperize uh, editor and created a new game inside this game i opened the spreadsheet and uh, no i first added a new component called it board and i set the uh, size to something i thought was reasonable but it probably isn't then i went into the uh, spreadsheet and just added something here to tell papers that i'm going to have one component of this kind the map in the component i added it for the component i edited the template added an image layer i in the image selection thing here i uploaded a new image and then i uh, selected a static image and picked uh, picked the right one on the second attempt a second try i i managed to do that and there we are, then I could print the game. Uh, what else might be good to know? Well, print settings here. This is set to used uh, A4 papers. And I think, yeah, I can set mar margins here. Um, which means when this is printed, uh, th there will be margins. So the outermost things here are not actually included or not uh, meant to be included, not being uh, uh, meant to be cut out. So some things here are slightly duplicated, which is what we should expect when we, uh, well, the print will cut off things anyway, so that's good. Um, that's almost it. We're gonna have a look at one more thing here in the template, the image um, alignment here, yeah. So this is set to fill. So it's going to be a really big. Um, uh, it will fill well, a lot of things here. Um, everything from uh, five percent, I guess, this uh, many millimeters from the page uh, edges or the component edges. Uh, you can uh, change how to uh, well align or stretch this image to have it fill or not fill. Uh, the full uh, size of this component. And that's it. I hope that's somewhat understandable and useful. Um, well, have a nice time. Bye.